there's a, uh, one saying in Bosnia, my grandfather used to tell me, just put a little stone in your shoe, just, just, you know, just to bother you a little bit, you know? So when you take it off, when you take it out, you just feel better, you yeah. know? If you give up, what? You gotta go home and then and, and kill yourself about it. Oh my God, why I give up? Why didn't I fight? Why didn't I try harder? And uh, now I just take a, you know, just take a minute and just think about it. Mm. Let's fight, you know? Let's keep it going. Growing up in, in Yugoslavia, I mean, I was born in 85. In 92, I guess we were still Yugoslavia. It was nice. It was really good. Everybody, like I told you before, everybody had a job. My father had a steady job. He was working good. And, you know, like my mother too. Uh, everybody was together. And then when 90, uh, 92 came, uh, Bosnia got the, into the war. For past, for next three years, horrible thing happened. You know, you're a kid. You really want to go out, spend time out, play outside with other kids, and, and, and just enjoy that. You know, like, this, 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 that... How you, how you say it? Um, when your mind is free. You're not thinking about anything. You're not thinking about a job. You're not thinking about bills. You're not thinking about anything. You just have to enjoy the time, you know. Yeah. And you're not enjoying it. You know, it's some wrong. You know. <laughs> after after those three years, when the, the war finished, it just you know you realize it's a bad thing what happened. It's you, you, you never can. I will, I will never forget it. I will never forget it. I will always um, have it in my mind. It will always be there. But. From 90, 90, 96 came, 97, everything, you know, like, just slowly got into a normal routine again, got better, better, better. Why do you think that that experience didn't take away your positive vibe? Because there's so much energy that comes out of you that's such a, like, a positive, um, yeah. engaging person. Why do you think the war didn't have an effect on you like that, to take that away from you? Going around, also my parents, they're always positive, you know. Uh, my father is, I'm, I'm a lot, a lot, a lot like my father. He's also positive, like, uh, I call him sometimes and, you know, like, I tell him, hey, dad, look, man, I just, today, just things doesn't go good. I'm like, are you serious? I like, he was like, <laughs> why you say, why are you complaining? I said, look, I can't complain. You can't complain. Like, you, you have, like, he said, are you healthy? I said, yeah, I'm healthy. Your kids are healthy? Yeah. Your wife healthy? Yeah, I'm healthy too. Like, he said, your father's healthy too. You know, just, he said, the most important thing in your life is to be healthy. You just be healthy and you will accomplish anything, you know. When I was a kid, I never want to be limited, you know. I didn't want to stay in, uh, like, just stay in, let's say, just stay in bars and not see anything, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you always see, like, a basketball also is one way to see all the countries you can see. And uh, people ask me, how do you, like, l learn to speak so many languages? Because I was in Spain, I was in Germany, I was in Italy, I was in France, I was in Hungary. I, I don't know, I was everywhere in Europe, you know, like, seeing all the countries. For a 28-year-old guy, I've been a really a lot longer, like for 10 years, 10 years professionally. 10 years is a lot. And you're 28, I mean, you think about it really a lot. It's crazy to transition from a successful career to then almost a rookie, right? Yeah. How, was, a, how was that for you? I knew when I came in, it was going to be tough, you know. I didn't expect it was going to be tough like this. But like I told you, even if it gets tougher, I'm going to start working harder. I'm going to try to find a better solution. I try and find, you know, like, just keep at it. What's been the hardest part to transition? There's a lot of, like, the first time I came, uh, there's a lot of terminology when I, when I came here. I had no idea what it is. And you come, 5.8, we back. Like, I never heard that before in my life, you know, like, what, that's like, what, what are they talking about? What do I have to do, you know, like, but it takes you, like, a month to get past that, you know, like, just... But nobody moment. helps you to understand this? They do, this? though. They do. Like, um... Hump is like Hump and D Will. They were like really great to me, and like and G, G Wallace too, and Stackhouse. You know, and talk to me, just explaining me stuff. They're really good at it. Like they they will tell you if you do some wrong when you have to be when you're like. It takes time. It's normal. You know. Then I put myself in uh, in their position. You know, like always when you think like, why well, don't understand me? So I try to put myself, let's say, in PJ's position. You know, and tell myself. Okay, why why would PJ play me in front of let's say Hump or Reggie? You know, like Reggie been in the league for 10, 12 years. Hump has been here for 10 years. You just have to give him positive things when you get in the game. Try to be positive. Try to uh, play hard. Give a lot of energy, and you will get your minutes. You mm -hmm. know, eventually we're gonna get your minutes. You know, you could you could have came here and said, well, 
you know, I've played so many years. Yeah. I deserve this spot. And maybe you do, but you don't make it about yourself. You make it about the success of the team, yeah. which I think um, is a really wonderful thing. Um, you know, that transition then within the NBA has been obviously difficult, but something that you can handle. How has the transition been for you personally from coming, you know, from Europe to the U.S. and now living in New York? So I grew up uh, till I was 14. I was living in my city. It was a really small city, you know. What's you the name of it? Uh, Yablanica. It's, it's like a village, almost like here, like 15,000 people, you know. Everybody knows everybody. It's really calm. There's one thing I really want, want for my kids, you know. It's like as soon as I, as soon as I finish, I'm going to try to run to my city and just get them settled, you know, in one place and stay for one place for a little bit more of time. Do they miss home? They do. Yesterday, I... Um, I, on my laptop, I had this picture, and it, it was in my house in, in, in Spain. And my son asked me, oh, we're going to fly back to this house? <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, we're going to go in the summer. Oh, I want to go right now. He said, I want to go right now. I mean, they, they miss it for sure. They miss it. Was there ever a discussion that your family would stay there and you would come here by yourself? No, it's impossible. I can't live with my kids. I'm, I'm just thinking how I'm going to survive 13 days. I'm thinking about now to... Uh, to the road trip? Yeah, road trip. I'm going to... Uh, they're going to come... To LA, I'm gonna try to for them to come to LA. I just can't live with my kids. That's what I got. It's impossible. Talk a little bit about your wife. How did you guys meet? My wife is she's from Croatia, and her uncle lives in my hometown. And her uncle's son is my best friend, one of my best friends. Wow. So she used to like come for during the summer with her uncle, stay by her uncle, and that's how we meet. That's how I met a long time ago. And you guys got married at a young age. Uh, 21. You know, I just knew that was, she was the right woman uh, for me. She was always with me. She was always supportive. She um, she gave up like her life just for me. And, you know, just to come up with me and, and and travel with me. And she's just uh, how to say the the perfect woman for me. Just you know, I I really like a. Uh, if I like, I, I told like a million times, like if I didn't marry you, I will never never get married in my life. <laughs> That's how it is. I know it's. Difficult to look ahead, but but what do you foresee for yourself? What do you still want to to accomplish and experience? I think for for first year uh, to get experience like this and, and and get actually some some playing time and, and, and get to get to the playoffs It's it's really like a lot of experience for me to see but uh, I will not stop like a, like I, I, ju I just can't it's just not me and, and, and just try when I come next year to pick it up Pick it up even more. You don't look too far ahead. No, it's just like um, like a lot of people say. <clears throat> okay, three four years and try to get a championship. Which I, I just a step by step. Yeah. You know, just like I said before, stay healthy. Uh, be with my family mm -hmm. as, as much as I can. Practice hard. And uh, <laughs> stay in the United States when the summer comes. I'm going to Bahamas. <laughs>